Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is Transformers Legacy Transmetal 2 Megatron Leader Class. So yes, we can go ahead and put him off to the side real quick. You can see his redness though. Over there. Okay, we can see uh, this box, which is, has a nice pose of him. Kind of, I guess, shooting uh, Maximals or something. Transmetal 2 Megatron, and you got him in the Dragon Mode up here in Transformers and Legacy. You also got the weirdly, the... Um, Transformers Prime Predacon symbol for some reason. Um, some the speculation would be probably, you know, trademark reasons just to, you know, keep that trademark. Um, over here, of course, you have some close-ups of both Dragon Head and Megatron Head. And on the top here, you have the Transformers Legacy logo. On the side, you have the uh, line-wide artwork and authentic Transformers. Uh, down here, you have the manufacturing stuff and we'll copyright all that. And on the back, you have some product shots and uh, copyrights and warnings and, of course, the QR code for tech specs if you want that. You also have the instructions, which, you know, are actually pretty straightforward, and he ma makes it, you know, makes sense for the most part. Um, now. Megatron. Transmetal 2 Megatron. The dragon one. Oh, man. Uh, this When they announced this, I was very excited for this, too, because... It's, well, it's Transmetal 2 Megatron. It turns into dragon. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see he is mostly reds and purples. Some bits of gold and orange here and there. Um, you can see up here as a face. Uh, this is one thing. is the face. Uh, it's got the silver and purple eyes, which is cool. But he's got these weird, sharp uh, teeth, which makes me think of... Uh, well, actually, considering the time I'm filming this, uh, that uh, Winter Warlock and uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. That Rankin-Bass special. Remember that? Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Um... I'm not sure about this head sculpt. I kind of wish they didn't do this, but, you know, um, I guess there will be ways. There's already companies looking to for replacing that, so we'll see if any of them check my fancy. But, yeah, you got the purple here. You got the orange, like, almost looks like an eyeball. You got some gold, like, in you know, the claws there. One of them's kind of tabbed. There we go. And you got the purple. You got the red. Lots of pur more purple and some gold there. And a little bit of... A little bit of asymmetry, you can see that, which is nice. You know, Transmetal 2 stuff, gold toes. You got the dragon head, which, you know, gold, red, and uh, purple. But there, you got the purple and red over here. And, of course, you got back here, you got the orange and purple wings, which are nice. And the, uh, the all that stuff and it's a uh, little pony tip, weird dragon tail, ponytail thing. It's all it's all here. Um, I'm really liking this, yeah, how all this looks. Um Took some liberties because on the show he was very red. Um, I was, honestly, I think possibly to the detriment um, of the design. It was just it was too much. It was just a sea of reds. So it was kind of washed out a lot of things. I feel with this adding the purple helps a lot. So uh, yeah, he generally looks really really nice in this mode, and I'm just really pleased that they made those adjustments. Uh, the only thing I again the only thing I'd say is the face is not the greatest. Um, he does come with this, a little uh, flame effect, so you can, you know, also you can use it as a club, which I guess you can use it as a club. You can't hold it super securely, but you can hold it, yeah, you can, I guess, beat people with a flame effect. Of course, you could also, you know, do the thing of, uh, you know, there's a hole in the dragon mouth, you can uh, have that, although it's kind of at an angle, so uh, there's that. Um, I prefer not to use a flame effect in this mode, um, but yeah, overall, really like that. Um, the other thing is up here, the claws. Uh, you can see these and notice that they are the which way they are pointing. This is the correct orientation. Um, in the box, pretty much almost every single one of them have it uh, reversed. You know, so these, these this claw is pointing outward instead of inward. Um, it doesn't affect anything. It's, it is it is cosmetic. It is like um, um, Kingdom Galvatron, basically all cosmetic. But um, if you do want to fix it. It's not super difficult, but can be a little risky. Um, you got to undo these two screws on each side, and then you have to pry this plastic apart and just get this off the pegs. It's cut um, one peg goes all the way up, and you have to separate this enough to pry this off the peg and rotate it around and put it back on. And it's kind of scary, and you're flexing plastic, but it is doable. So yeah, and then put the screws back, in, and also make sure to tighten them enough and everything. But uh, it's doable, just. I really, really wish that uh, it was correct out of the box, but it, it doesn't affect too much. Anyway, um, the other thing is on mine, I'm not sure what's going on, but there's this tab right here is supposed to tab into the slot right here for robot mode, and it doesn't quite line up properly. So what happens is when you do that, see, it just came undone right there. So either that happens or uh, you get this all tabbed in and then it pops itself back out. It's not the end of the world because, you know, it's just on his back and really makes very little difference, but... 
it is a little thing that bugs me a little bit because I think possibly the tab itself, my mind might be actually bent. The tab itself might be bent incorrectly, so I might be able to fix it, but uh, I haven't tried yet. Yeah. Uh, posability. His head is um, able to swivel left and right. I think it is only a swivel because, well, ball joint would be kind of weird. This is all ball jointed, so you can, you know, get that out of the way or, you know, have it pose as you need to. It's ball joints so you can twist and rotate and side to side and all that stuff. Uh, the shoulders, soft ratchets forward and back, both sides. On this arm, you have, you know, outward right there, and you have the bicep swivel, and you got a double jointed elbow right there. No wrists, anything here. You got the uh, outward there, and then you got a whole series of ball joints. So you have, you know, you can curl it. And you rotate it and all this stuff, although the molding, the sculpting on this kind of will uh, get a little bit in the way. But you can rotate this stuff, and uh, but there's ball joints and everything, and the mouth can open and close and all that. So uh, just figure that one out. <laughs> the uh, waist, nice clicky ratchet there. Hips, nice, also nice soft clicky ratchets uh, forward this far. Uh, back, I mean, if you get stuff out of the way, you can go pretty far back. But yeah, you have to get stuff out of the way for that to be a thing. But um, outward, you have that much, which is nice. It's going to go well. I have to. Um, you have a knee swivel. The knees themselves can curl in quite a bit, which is nice. Nice deep bend there. Uh, down here, you have this joint, which is mostly for transformation. I guess it can be used for something. But uh, yeah, you got that joint. But yeah, you have the ankles can uh, tilt left and right, and also they can, on a ratchet, uh, pivot forward and back, which is can be really helpful too. And of course, back here is, you know, kind of just talking around at the wings. Yes, they can splay out. You can splay out, you know, pretty nicely on each side. They have a kind of a little, the way they're designed, they kind of will kind of drag each other with them. So you got this nice splayed thing, you splay them out, you can, uh, flap them you can uh rotate these in and out yeah so that's more articulation but yeah you can just have the wings out open if you want in robot mode but kind of in robot mode i like to have them kind of down more like a bit of a cape of sorts yeah good yeah fantastic robot mode i really like it and i'm um, quite pleased it exists yeah real quick though uh comparisons um here he is with the original Transmetal 2 Megatron. Yeah, um, who's falling over really easily for some reason. There we go. There we go, okay, yeah. Why is he standing weird? Yeah, original Transmetal 2 Megatron, which some people have claimed this looks better. Also, mine has scratches all over this thing. Yeah, years of uh, stuff. But yeah, I like this toy, and I've always liked it since I was a kid, but I think this is better looking overall. This has just got a lot of problems, including a way too long of an arm, which, you know, you can see just kind of drags on the ground if you have it on it at its side, and you have to do that and on top of that is yeah it's just a lot of things but um also mine just stands funny i don't know what the heck's going on there i did something's off kilter i don't know what but uh yeah um still a cool toy but i think this looks a little better overall and also here's a uh, kingdom beast wars megatron as well just uh and he's actually taller. That's correct. Megatron got bigger when he turned, you know, Transmetal, Transmetal. You know, watch it. Man, if they make a leader class uh, Transmetal Megatron, I'd be very happy with that too. I mean, granted, I guess they had that Transarts guy, but still, just saying, I'd be really happy we got a leader class uh, Transmetal Megatron. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, robot mode. Looks great. No, the bright red's broken up with purples and all that stuff and looks great. So, um... Transformation. 
Okay, so this one's actually pretty clever in some ways, but uh, first you want to go back here. You want to untab this and bring this up and back, and yeah, just get this all back like this, and just kind of. Also, this the head on here, and as a slider, you want to slide the. Let's see, you want to slide the head back like that, just, and leave that for now. Now up here, what you want to do is you want to untab these little golden claw things, untab those, um, bring those out and down, and then. Bring the chest forward. Hey, look, there's little dragon arms. You want to bring those out like that and just bring those out for now and just kind of come over here and rotate those arms so they look more like this, right? And down here, you want to come down here and uh, take these and move these down out of the way for a second. You want to open this up. And then also rotate this like that. Then here, you want to go ahead and curl the arm up and this tab right here in the forearm will go up in this... Uh, Right there, and you bring that down, and you close this up inside here. Before you, you want to rotate this up like this, and this tab will go into that slot right there. Bring the fist in, and then close that up over the fist, and then you can go ahead and close these up right there, and then bring this up over top of all that, and then. These these uh these panels right here, there's little slots and tabs which will go in and help secure things and uh, yeah a little slot and tab and that will help secure all that. Now here, down here at the, I'm gonna take these out of the way for a second, but yeah. Down here at the waist, what you want to do is uh. Bring it down and split it like that those out of the way and then also bring this forward and bend the knee and bring the leg forward like that and same thing here Bring the leg forward bend the knee and bring that forward like so these apart and then down here you want to go ahead and uh, this will wrap around inside like this and you got Peg, and you got a peg and a tab and a uh, hole in a slot. And then over here, you got a peg and a slot and a you know tab and all that stuff. You want to bring these to in. Make sure also this thing right here, there's a tab right here, which will go open this slot right here. Make sure that's all the way down, otherwise it's not going to line up. And let's go ahead and you know bring those in and tab those you know tab and peg that all in. Sometimes it fights a bit, yeah. Bring that all together and then bring this up over top and right here there's a couple tabs right here which will go up into the slots up here just to, yeah, put that all together do it you know kind of the legs position and get the tail out get everything else positioned and position the neck do what you need to do. Of course, I'm gonna flare out the wings now because that way it just looks way better. You know, I'm dragging without flared wings, that's the point. And uh, there you go. There's Transmittal 2 Megatron in his beast mode. And yeah, what a dragon mode, I think. Uh, overall, just look at this thing. It's, it's so cool looking. I love this. I love this so much. Look at this, it's just, Big old dragon, like seriously, it's just a big old imposing thing. And it's like, you know, you got the, you know, it just looks really good. I just really like that. Again, you got the, in a lot of the DM detail, you got the purple and the gold and they're all the color of the red. The only thing is, um, oh. yeah, this is the one thing I don't like. It is right here. You can just see the f fist just chilling out. It's a little, it's a little weirdly naked and bare there. That's the one thing I really don't like, but uh, oh yeah, the other thing was yeah, this thing kind of hooks in. It does just so so kind of naturally, but yeah, it's supposed to hook in there. But um, it's my only complaint is just that the the, the robot fist is just exposed in there. I wish there was something covering it up because I think that's the one real big flaw. It's just this looks weirdly naked and uh, exposed and just thin. But everything else just looks big and beefy, and I like it. And yeah, you get the big old wingspan and everything. I can mean, I barely get him in frame because he's so just tall and everything. It just, yeah, I still, all that stuff. And of course, yeah, the blast effect. 
comes with, which is a hard plastic, by the way. It's not soft, so it's nice. That's nice. It's translucent orange, and you know you can just uh, plug that into his mouth and ah. <laughs> I love that. I love this, how this looks so much, and, uh, just really good looking, and, um, yeah, uh, posability, a lot of this, this, you know, it gives us some of the same stuff as you get before, so this is all, once again, segmented ball joints, so you got up and down, you got left and right, and this can go left and right right here, still ratcheted, these can go left and right and bend pretty far, and everything, and the mouth can open and close, and, the arms, you know, they, they're just, you know, you've got, you know, full swivels there. You can go 360, you can go outward, and there's a bicep and an elbow, and the wrists can uh, do that. They can rotate, and they can go back and forth, so that's pretty cool. The wings, of course, can flap up and down, you know, retract and extend like that, and these claw things can go in and out as you need them to, and there's no waist swivel, but, you know, you have still have the ratcheted hips forward and back, and, well, really far outward and you got the knees and you got yeah still have this this stuff you know that can bend in and out and the feet can go forward and back and tilt side to side and all that stuff and yeah just get the all sitting the way i want it to and that just came undone sometimes i notice sometimes this this part because the ratchets are strong enough that this just causes this to uh come undone a bit sometimes but you no, know, it's not too hard to uh, fix. And the tail, of course, is also on, also on segmented ball joints, so back and forth and left and right, and can twist and all that stuff. This doesn't have anything. It's just you know, gold plastic. But yeah, um, definitely, definitely, definitely a really nice overall dragon. I just really like how it looks. Um, there's even degree of, oh yeah, there's also this little thing which is cool again the little orange eye thing which is cool and then a little more gold and yeah down the belly and this looks good yeah um real quick comparisons here's the original Transmetal two Megatron mine yeah a little worn worn out you can see uh, things are a little floppy and yeah the, the the head unfortunately just kind of flops to one side because of years of being on the shelf with this is just kind of bent at an angle because of the it's too long for a robot mode so the rubber now wants to uh, rest that way but yeah that's the thing is uh he's got a couple nice real tough ratchets but also just some friction joints so it doesn't take much for him to just flop over if I'm, you're not careful but yeah unfortunately uh, it's just flopping over one side if i could find the missile i could also fire that but i can't find it um He's taller, but he just, yeah, not by much. And mostly just because he, he stands more upright versus him standing kind of at an angle. You can see you kind of, this one you can't have stand too far forward because otherwise he'll collapse. But, uh, well, actually he's not taller at all. Just, you know, just, he's angled differently. He's, they're actually roughly the same height. So, uh, there you go. And here he is with uh, Kingdom Beast Wars Megatron, who is quite a bit smaller in his uh, alt node. Also, this has less raspberry plastic, so it's nicer to transform. Yeah. Um, so, Transmetal 2 Megatron, should you get him? Yes. Yes. I would say even for people who don't necessarily like Beast Wars stuff, this might be worth checking out. This is wonderful, honestly. Um, I was very excited when I you know heard about it. I was very excited when I got it, and I was still excited. It's 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 great. Um, big old wingspan. It's got a clever transformation. It looks good in both modes. My only real complaint really is that one bit at the base of the neck is just a little bit exposed hand. Other than that, I love this thing so much. And also on top of that, you know, the claws on the wings are reversed out of the box, but that's a minor cosmetic issue. And I'm, I wouldn't even notice and someone, no one didn't even tell me. Or I might've noticed some down, down the line. It's like, huh, it's kind of weird. The original, the claws point this way, but on this one, the claws point the other way, huh? I wonder what that's about, <laughs> but um, yeah, he is wonderful in both modes. Tr clever transformation and just mine has a couple small one, a couple like one little flaw, like the weird tab or something. But he's just fun. He looks great, and uh, oh, and I guess that the face in the robot mode is kind of eh. But 
I still think he's worth it. Yeah, $55 leader. Yeah, I think just pick him up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Maybe unless you're just ardently against Beast Wars. That's the only way. But other than that, I think you'll you'll be enjoying it for sure. Um, just get it. <laughs> so that's it for this one. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my uh, Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime 1. Check out my co-host, co-host.com slash Nemesis Dash Prime. Check out my Patreon, my coffee. And I'll see you next time with another video review. Yeah.